The paranormal has captivated human imagination for centuries. From ghostly apparitions to unexplained phenomena, these mysterious occurrences intrigue and perplex us. Prepare yourself to join us on a journey of the paranormal, examining some of the most compelling cases and the science behind these enigmatic events. One of the most common paranormal beliefs is the existence of ghosts. Reports of spectral encounters date back thousands of years across virtually every culture. Modern ghost hunters use an array of equipment to detect supposed spirit activity. EMF meters to measure electromagnetic fields. Infrared cameras to capture heat signatures. Audio recorders to pick up electronic voice phenomena. While many ghost photos and videos have been debunked as hoaxes or misidentifications, some remain unexplained. The Brown Lady of Raynham Hall, captured in 1936, is considered one of the most famous ghost photographs ever taken. Poltergeist activity refers to unexplained movement of objects, loud noises, and other physical disturbances. Unlike apparitions, poltergeists are rarely seen. Some researchers theorize that poltergeist activity may be linked to psychokinesis, the alleged ability to move objects with the mind. Near-death experiences are reported by people who have come close to dying or have been clinically dead for a short time. Common elements include out-of-body experiences, traveling through a tunnel toward a bright light, encountering deceased loved ones, feeling overwhelming peace and love. While skeptics argue NDEs are hallucinations caused by a dying brain, some researchers believe they may provide evidence for consciousness existing separate from the body. Unidentified flying objects, UFOs, have been reported throughout human history. Modern sightings often describe disc or saucer-shaped craft, incredible speeds and maneuvers, beams of light, missing time after encounters. More controversial are claims of alien abductions, where people report being taken aboard spacecraft and subjected to medical examinations. While many cases can be explained by sleep paralysis or false memories, some researchers argue that the consistency of reports across cultures suggests a real phenomenon. Cryptozoology is the study of animals whose existence is unproven. Famous cryptids include Bigfoot or Sasquatch, the Loch Ness Monster, Chupacabra, and the Mothman. While many cryptids are likely misidentifications or hoaxes, some cryptozoologists argue that undiscovered species could still exist in remote areas. Parapsychology is the scientific study of paranormal phenomena. Researchers use controlled experiments to test for extrasensory perception, telepathy, precognition, and psychokinesis. While some studies have produced statistically significant results, Skeptics argue these findings are due to methodological flaws or researcher bias. Tonight on this stage, you are going to meet a man who claims he can move physical objects using only the powers of his mind. All of us are very pleased, not just pleased, but excited to have you with us. Now, you claim to have psychic powers, don't yes, you? Yes, I do. Is this something that you have discovered recently, or have you known of it since childhood? How did it all begin? Well, everyone's born with it. It's just a matter of development. Is it true that you can also turn the pages of this telephone directory? Yes, it is. And you will do that for us? I'll try. Should I take the pencil off the table? Yes. All right. There you are, James. You would like to open it to any page, or should you I'll, want me to do it? I'll be happy to. <clears throat> Ready? Ready? All right. The amazing Randy maintains that you did not use psychic power, but that it was trickery. Mm. And he is prepared to pay you $10,000 if you can do it using psychic power. Here he is, the amazing Randy. James, Randy? Randy? Sure. Now, you saw James' demonstration from backstage. Yes, I did. And do you accept that as a demonstration of psychic power, or do you believe that he used trickery? I don't accept it as a demonstration of psychic power, Bob. I think that the solution is rather simple. I think that Mr. Heydrich is merely to accomplish this effect, blowing on both the page, and it moves very, very easily. All right, you're not going to ask him to do that. That's one down, one to go, James. You are prepared to pay him $10,000 if he can turn the page of the telephone directory with certain controls. That's right. right. Since my theory, as yet unproven, of course, is that it's accomplished simply by blowing, though rather cleverly, I must admit, done, there should be a way, a simple way, without a lot of instrumentation, to demonstrate that fact by using one very simple control. Now, what I have here is particles of a white plastic, which, when given a good puff, good heavy puff of air, 
will, I think, rather conclusively show whether or not blowing is a method accomplished. Now, it will not, perhaps, in some way, differentiate between genuine psychic power and actual blowing, but it certainly should be very interesting indeed to see what now occurs. James? Ready? Now, James, you have another question. Mm -hmm. yeah, what, is, what would you like okay. to ask? The styrofoam and the lights form electricity which pulls the page. Look. It pulls the page down instead of freeing the pages. I'll just lift up one, two. Lift them in a bunch if you would, uh, about two, two, three, quarter of an inch of them. All right, there, like that. That's fine. Gently place them down gently so it doesn't disturb the phone. I know how, well, oh, I thought oh, you the other way. way. Yeah, the other way. That's what I thought you meant. That's sure. be helpful to you. The static is going to still be here because of the foam. See, well, it is the opinion of the judges that there is not enough static form by the, the foam to be a problem. So, uh, under the conditions agreed upon, it uh, would seem that now you should at least try with psychic power to turn the page of the telephone director, James. Okay. It's not going to uh, turn for you? No, it isn't. James Heydrich and James Randy's confrontation is a notable event in the history of paranormal debunking. In the early 1980s, James Heydrich gained fame as a self-proclaimed psychic, showcasing his supposed telekinetic abilities on television. His famous tricks involved moving pencils and turning book pages without physical contact. Heydrich's popularity soared after his appearance on the TV show That's Incredible in 1980. James Randi, a renowned magician and skeptic known for exposing paranormal and pseudoscientific claims, challenged Heydrich's abilities. Their showdown occurred on the TV show, That's My Line, in 1981, where Randy offered a $10,000 prize if Heydrich could demonstrate his powers under controlled conditions. Randy devised a simple yet effective test to expose Heydrich's methods by placing lightweight styrofoam packing peanuts around a telephone book, which would easily move if Heydrich secretly blew on the pages. Heydrich attempted to turn the pages for 45 minutes, but ultimately failed. He tried to save face by claiming that the styrofoam created static electricity that interfered with his powers. This public failure significantly damaged Heydrich's credibility. Later, he confessed to investigative journalist Dan Corum that his abilities were fraudulent, stating, My whole idea behind this in the first place was to see how dumb America was. How dumb the world is. The exposure of Heydrich's fraud became one of Randy's most famous debunkings and highlighted the importance of skepticism and scientific testing of paranormal claims. This incident is a cautionary tale about the dangers of uncritically accepting extraordinary claims and the value of skeptical inquiry in exposing fraudulent practices in the realm of alleged paranormal abilities. Natural phenomena, psychological factors, or deliberate hoaxes can explain many paranormal claims. Common explanations include Pareidolia, seeing patterns in random stimuli, like faces in clouds. Confirmation bias, focusing on evidence that supports beliefs while ignoring contradictory information. Misidentification of natural phenomena, ball lightning, sleep paralysis, etc. Deliberate fraud for attention or financial gain. Whether you're a believer or a skeptic, the paranormal fascinates us. As science advances, we may find explanations for some of these mysteries, but others may remain forever elusive, challenging our understanding of reality. Thank you for joining us on the first episode of a new series entitled The Afterlife Research Project. Each Monday, at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, we will dive into a different paranormal belief or phenomenon. Let's explore together. Don't forget to support this kind of content by hitting that like, hitting that share, and ringing that subscription bell. See you next week, my freaky friends. And you might want to sleep with the light on tonight. Thanks again.